George Janko's sudden departure from Impulsive has been a mystery. Before he left, it started becoming clear to Logan Paul's audience that George was uncomfortable on the podcast. You don't give a shit about this show anymore, let's be honest. It's like bands that hate each other that have to get on stage every night <laughs> and play for the audience. We don't even like each other, dude. That's not true. I like Mike. George and George then left Impulsive to make his own show. Then Logan's fragile ego got bruised and he lashed out at George publicly. People watch. And without people watching, I, I just have a show like um. Starting this whole conversation with one real question left unanswered. What really happened? In today's video, we're going to get a much better understanding of the George Janko vs. Impulsive Fallout. From the man himself, George Janko, when he featured on Howie Mandel's podcast. And let me tell you, Howie, I'm not trying to be dramatic. Bro, there was times I passed out, fell down the stairs because of just, I was so scared. Imagine, what, was your, what was your biggest fear? Like, what would you be scared of? My biggest fear is that I worked this hard to leave and people made me out to be a man I'm not. And that I had to exit being a man I wasn't proud of because of editing or certain ways they try to paint me. We got our first look at the cracks when George implies to Howie Mandel that Logan Paul's team and Logan Paul edited and portrayed him in a way that he didn't think was accurate. Only George himself knows that. You know, we saw various viral clips of George and Logan just being a bad friend. We know that already. However, only George can tell what parts were left out the edit, what was kept in and how it was sliced up. And if he feels that way, then I don't doubt that that probably did happen. If you're gonna ask me, do I trust George Janko or Logan Paul the scammer? I'm picking George every time. So I thought if I left that I'd be hated. And there have been so many YouTube people, like big YouTubers that made videos taking out even them. Not only did my team do that for me, but like these guys would only highlight what I did wrong. And it broke me, but go read the comments. George then talks about his anxiety and what he thought about leaving Impulsive. Obviously a huge move, being on one of the most successful podcasts around to just leaving and doing your own thing. No matter what you say, that takes a lot of balls. You can't hide the truth. Even their audience were like, absolutely not. And it, like, for example, there was a guy named Sonny V2. He made a video about me like literally three days ago. It has like 3 million views. Why I ruined the biggest show. 99% of the comments were like, you got this wrong. This was, and they're explaining it in paragraph. And if you look at the comments of Sonny V2's videos, this is in fact true. Reading through most of his comments made me feel a little bit better about humanity. This video makes George look like the bad one here, but if you actually have gone through something similar to George, you'd understand that it hurts and he is not in the wrong. He clearly had fake friends and I'm so glad that he chose to stay away from them. Not gonna lie, I lost a bit of respect for you, Sonny. You really cherry picked and made George look the worst in this situation. He wasn't perfect, but he was the least responsible for this situation. I'm glad most of his comments are in support of George. Dude's not perfect, but it sucks how his friends treated him. I don't understand how a guy who scammed half of his fans following is any better than a guy who just stayed silent instead of letting others cross his boundaries. I don't think George's the one in the wrong here. George was definitely not the bad person here. He left because he realizes what kind of person Logan is. If you are stuck in a verbally abusive environment where people always talk shit about you, then actions need to be taken. That is surrounding yourselves with people who are genuinely good for you. And that's great to see that people are seeing through Sunny V2's poorly researched yet again video and realizing actually George's character, especially compared to someone like Logan Paul. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the further away you can get from Logan Paul, the better. George then again says that Logan Paul and his team made him out to be something he wasn't. And I've turned down way more money and nobody will ever know the decisions that I made behind closed doors. And then they started editing and started doing things and it, and, and it just, I don't care about money. I don't care about fame to a certain extent. I care about being the best human being that I could possibly be and achieving the highest level that I can. So if you're going to steal something from me, take my money, take, take my pride, take my ego, but don't, don't take away what I took and my parents took to build who I am because there is a young version of me that's following in my footsteps. And what happens if he sees a light that I wasn't portrayed to be in? And now he walks away from a foundation that I very much believe in. And then we get to this part where we realize why George can't really say too much. However, stay till the end because we get a pretty good idea. So what is the biggest, on a, on a serious note, what is the biggest um, misconception of you and what happened there that you, uh, that bothered you? 
and it's not true. And maybe they got that misconception because of the way you were editorialized <sighs> or. I'm really not, they, they very much made it clear that I'm not allowed to speak up about things. So I, I can't even. Legally? Yeah. Firstly, what the shit? If anything, hearing a co-host from a podcast say, yeah, I've been basically gagged by my boss to not say anything about the environment I was in makes Logan Paul look so much worse. What could possibly be that bad that you had to silence George from speaking about you? And if it's something you put in the contract already, then what were you preempting so hard? Are you really that unbearable to work with Logan that you have to do that to your own friends i didn't know that you guys were in a legal well he likes to tend to argue with me and so he argues with me on the podcast and, and, and about things and uh i think he I, I said okay then how about we discuss this what you've guys done let's talk about this and he goes yeah do it and then i go okay and so i tweeted out uh I wasn't going to talk out of respect, out of respect for the man. So, and then his attorneys hit me up and said, hey, let me remind you about the stuff you've signed. Logan claimed he was actually down to talk about it with George when he asked and confronted Logan. But as soon as George tweeted it out, it sounds like Logan Paul hid behind his attorneys and pushed them towards George. Like, Tell him he can't do this, please. Making sure they shut George up. But imagine getting lawyers on your friends to shut them up. I mean, with the crypto zoo drama and him getting sued for scamming his fans he probably has the lawyers on speed dial right now so hashtag let george speak what is so bad what are you hiding that you need lawyers to protect you from how he then goes on to say that he hit logan up george makes this little side comment first because i didn't want to cross a line and i don't want to cross a line with you yeah but uh, so i uh you i asked him if i could ha you could have me on he'd probably say yeah because he knows I, I wouldn't i would not ask if he can have you on again mentioning the legal implications and saying he would let george on any podcast because he knows the contract logan and he knows that george if he does speak out he's screwed and then logan's response to howie's message is just like ultimate weasel behavior he said i can talk about anything yeah I mean, knowing that you can't yeah right? exactly oh okay of course logan's saying he can talk about whatever he wants he's not gonna talk about the stuff with george and he knows that george has a gagging order and can't say shit just sums up logan paul so much hashtag let george speak regardless god provided me these friends that i had to put me on the platform that i have now how'd you meet them how'd you meet logan? i met logan at the gym and uh, we became friends and then we started collaborating and through lo knowing logan he introduced me to his friends and his opportunities so everything that i have now even though i um, i do not associate myself with them it is given to me from them so i, I can't disrespect them i just chose that it was a time in my life where I, I have to draw lines and boundaries and say okay i gotta go do my own thing and i pray to god that one day we could see eye to eye and look even now when george talks about logan and mike he still gives him respect credits them for the opportunities they gave him which i think is very telling about his character it's also interesting as well to hear him finally admit it because if you didn't know when he launched his show he acted like he's also doing impulsive everything's fine but he's making the show for himself i'm doing this just to share more of my point of view without without uh, uh corrupting the flow of impulsive you know there's some thoughts that i want to share with if it's from my beliefs or or just my point of view everyone knew there was more going on we then also get a little timeline of when things between george and logan started to unravel i think we kept it perfect it's like rock band. like they oh, used the, to it like wasn't, during the show it wasn't yeah. a solid when i was around no, no. How he went on Impulsive, October 2021. So it's been going on longer than anyone has realized. George then gives us more insight into why he wanted to leave. Honestly, I think it just comes down to respect. I think once you stop respecting somebody, uh, they could only dance by themselves with respect until they're like, okay, I could just, I could go dance on my own. I don't need it. Was it the religion? Uh, it's just their point of views, you know, and I, it, it just, it got messy and it just started feeling like I wasn't around people that truly cared for my best interest. And I truly just had to respectfully walk away. And this became very evident to the public when Logan Paul went off on George for being religious. One that saying? really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. 
That no, one hurt me. No, I didn't. I said, you need a therapist because Jesus isn't quite doing it for you. No, you which didn't. Is, no, which you didn't. is true. No, you didn't. I, and said, I, I don't want to stand down. No, you didn't. That is not something a friend does, especially in front of millions. The bar only keeps getting lower for Logan Paul. George then goes on to say that he was actually welcomed back after he left and that he left completely on his own. I don't know. We'll talk about that in a second. I made that decision. 100%. I, I guarantee I could show you that they've welcomed me back and I said no. And I could imagine George saying no to Logan probably bruised his ego even more. And then we probably get one of the biggest insights to the real reason George left Impulsive. And because of Logan Paul's bitch ways, it could be the most we ever get. This is what George had to say. So to make that decision would be a really tough decision for most people. This is the most terrifying thing I've ever done in my life. I, I, my sister left her job Reed, uh, it works for me. My girlfriend, I have a whole team. And I don't mean to be opening up, but I don't spend a dollar for myself. I, I provide for the team because they're providing my dreams by working with me. And when it got to a point where he made me choose the well-being between my team and them, I had to sacrifice my life. And, and I prayed that God would lift me so that way I don't drop them. And I could tell you confidently within the six months that I've been on my own, it would take me 10 years to do that on Impulsive. So George says Logan apparently tried to make him choose between the well-being of his team and them. Now, what does that mean? Because of Logan's gagging order, we can only speculate. I guarantee Logan would be the first to say, how could you make things up and not actually say the real truth? Well, you stopped the truth from coming out, Logan. So people are going to speculate now. You know, maybe Logan didn't want George's team around anymore. Maybe he felt that it was distracting George. Or maybe Logan just didn't like the fact that George had his own team as well as the impulsive team, which I assume Mike, Logan are all under. Or there was something a lot more. No one right now knows so slowly and surely we are getting cracks and glimpses of what happened and if i know the internet if i know influences and drama this will come out eventually the full story will 100 come out one day but one thing that shines the brightest through all of this is just how horrible logan paul is and george if you're watching i sent you an email before but i would love to interview you to hashtag let george speak but of course i completely understand if you don't want to or can't comment below hashtag let george speak tweet it out and let's see if logan will finally grow a pair of balls like the video of logan paul's a bitch and until next time fuck off